friends, my name is Mrs. Cram and I'm your new art teacher. Today is kind of a practice art class so that we can get used to our new routine. A routine is a thing that you do each week. This week we are going to practice making some lines. So I'm going to draw and then you can draw. If you need to pause the video and do something and then press play, you can do that. Or you can watch this video as many times as you would like. All right, let's get started. All right, so in this lesson, all you really need is something to write on and something to write with. Then maybe some colors a little bit later. We're going to start by making some lines. So what are some types of lines that you know of? One that I know is a zigzag line. I'm going to make some zigzags. All right. What's another type of line? Maybe a loop-de-loop. -loop. And let's see, I could do some waves. I could do some crazy lines that just go all over the place. Oh my gosh, crazy line. Okay. What's another line I could do? Maybe a dotted line, a straight line. It's not perfectly straight, but it's close. That's all right. And maybe some kind of crazy fire looking line. For this line, you can do whatever you would like. It doesn't have to look like what I'm doing. All right, let's count how many lines we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven lines. This is how not to do your lines. I want nice lines that look different like we did before. I don't want to see crazy scribbling like this. Ah! Now, that can be fun sometimes, especially if you want to get some frustration out, but this isn't what I'm looking for in our art assignment today. So if you scribbled, that's all right. Try again. And this time, I would like you to make sure that your lines are a little less crazy. For the coloring part, you can use whatever you'd like. You can use pencils. You can use markers. I'm going to use some watercolor crayons just because that's what I have, but you can use whatever you have. When you're coloring, this is what I don't want to see. Now, does that look very nice? Not really. Instead of scribbling, I want you to take your time. Neat art takes time, and that's okay. So I'm going to start by tracing my line and then using little circles to color in the rest of my little area. Now, do you see how I'm still able to color fast, but it looks a lot nicer than when I was scribbling? Awesome. So now I can go in and color the rest of my page. Now. When I'm doing this, am I scribbling everywhere? Or am I tracing the lines first and then using little circles? That's right, I'm using little circles on the inside. Every time I'm tracing my lines, and I can have some little holes in there, and coloring. Now, you don't have to do the same colors as me. You can use whatever colors you would like for your lines. These are just the ones that I'm using. Sometimes when I'm coloring, it doesn't look like perfect little circles, but that's okay. As long as I'm trying to make sure it's neat and inside of my lines, that's what matters. Now, I think I'm going to color inside of my little loop-de-loops. -loops. 
if you finish early, you can go in and add details. A detail is anything extra that you want to add. So I can go in and make some little curly cues. You don't have to do curly cues. You can add whatever you would like. I could also maybe add some smiley faces. Or maybe if you like a sport, you could do a ball. So maybe a basketball. Or is that how you draw a basketball? I don't know. I don't play basketball, so I don't know. But that looks more like a baseball to me. That's all right. It can be an orange baseball. Why not? You can add hearts, stars, anything that you would like to make your artwork more special to you. When I see your artwork next week, I would like to see that you know how to do at least four different lines. Now, can you do less than four lines? No. Can you do more than four lines? Of course, you can do as many lines as you would like, as long as you do them neatly and color in between them. Let's count how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. Could I do less than seven if I wanted to for this assignment? Totally. Can I do less than four? No, I need to have more than four. When you finish, Keep your artwork so you can show me next art class. Have fun.